Hi, this is the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group meeting, December 19th, 2019, the last meeting of the year. Thanks. Let's look at our agenda. So we're going to talk about open action items briefly. Then we'll do a status report on Adopt Open JDK and how it's progressing. Uh, do a brief review of questions and concerns around the process that we use to decide when we're ready to, to use Adopt Open JDK as this the base image for Jenkins. Then a status report on Adopt Open JDK Open J9. Brief conversation on the Windows installer and a summary on the platform support broadening that is even getting wider and wider as we're going forward. So first topic then, open action items. I still have the action item to open the JEP for Docker operating system support rules. So what are the heuristics, the guiding principles we'll use to decide if we should add Docker images? This is becoming increasingly important now as more and more proposals are arriving for additional Docker images. Uh, Oleg has the action item for to open the Jenkins enhancement proposal for Windows support policy. Uh, we've made some progress on the Windows installer code, thanks to Alex Ervo and Olivier Vernin. Uh, the signing is still blocked, awaiting additional help from the Linux Foundation as we get code signing permissions for an organization instead of for individuals. We have a, a new approved step that Oleg Nanasha and I have been approved to be added as Docker maintainers. Uh, that needs to happen yet, and once that happens, we can approve pull requests and assist in making progress with evolution of the Docker images. The Adopt Open JDK status report, deep thanks to Alex Earl for fixing the failing automated tests that are were failing also on the standard builds. Uh, what had happened was a component was updated, in this case the Maven plugin, that component was a, a crucial part of one of the compatibility tests. Uh, but the change that was made caused the assumptions made in the test to be invalidated. Alex fixed the tests. It was a test problem only, but he fixed the tests and it's now running and happier. We're ready to start to resume the review and discussion of the proposal in PR 890 on the OpenJ9 image. Uh, that'll continue over the course of the next several weeks. Uh, as as we look and evaluate that. We've also had progress on, on the Adopt Open JDK transition proposal. Uh, Victor Martinez and I sat, to get, sat together at Jenkins World in Lisbon and did a working document with rough notes on what we think some of the pieces need to be involved in a Jenkins enhancement proposal to talk about how we're going to successfully make that transition. There are many different interesting challenges as we transition from one image to another. And uh, so those are captured in these rough notes. Um, the Open J J9 additional image that's covered in PR 890 here. And we'll get more time and more energy on that over the coming weeks. Windows installer will largely be paused for now for the next two or three weeks while individuals are on holiday for the, the Christmas break. Um, hoping to get additional traction on it beginning in January. And then the broadening platform support. We had a pull request arrive recently proposing CentOS 8 support and another one arrived proposing Ubuntu 1804 support. Uh, those are good examples of why we need a set of heuristics to decide when we're ready to add a new image as a project and what would cause us to reconsider that or to not do that. Those are the topics that we had for today's platform SIG. Thanks very much. Uh, we'll meet again in two weeks after the first of the year.